Hey everyone, quick by Mr. Basics here. So let's talk about the Lacopiron. The Lacopiron is the best studied model for understanding the regulation of gene expression. The genomic DNA of bacteria has many genes. Genes, by the process of transcription and translation, forms a protein. Both transcription and translation are highly energy intensive, hence only those genes that are required for homeostasis are continuously expressed. This type of expression is known as constitutive expression. Most of the genes are controlled by the extracellular signals, which are usually molecules in the growth medium. The signals that positively regulate the gene expression are called activators, while the signals that negatively regulate gene expression are called repressors. Both activator and repressor are the DNA binding proteins that regulate the gene expression. The DNA sequence at which the repressor binds is called an operator. While the DNA sequence at which the activator binds is called an activator binding site. Now let's talk about the lac operon. An operon is a functional unit of DNA containing cluster of genes under a single promoter. The lac operon has three genes, lac Z, lac Y, and lac A. The lac Z gene encodes beta galactosidase enzyme. This breaks lactose into glucose and galactose. The lac Y gene encodes lactose permease enzyme. This enzyme transports lactose inside the cell. The lac A gene encodes thiogalactoside transacetylase enzyme and it helps in the removal of toxic thiogalactosides, which are also transported by the leg Y. The leg I encodes a repressor that binds the operator and represses the leg operon. Let's see how the leg operon functions. In absence of lactose, the operator is occupied by leg repressor. This ultimately shuts down the leg operon genes. Basal level transcription. Now, sometimes, even in absence of lactose, the repressor may fall off from the operator, allowing the transcription of lac genes. This occurs because the binding of repressor with the operator is not permanent. Because of basal level transcription, there is always some amount of lactose permease, beta-galactosidase, and thiogalactoside transacetylase enzyme present in the cell. When lactose is present, lactose enters the cell with the help of lactose permease. Remember, lactose permease is present because of the basal level transcription of the lac genes. The lactose that enters the cell binds with the repressor and releases the repressor from the operator. As the operator is free, the RNA polymerase can now bind the promoter and initiate the transcription of lac genes. Now, as lac genes are continuously transcribed, more amount of lactose permease, beta-galactosidase, and thiogalactoside transacetylase enzymes are formed. The lactose permease further allows more amount of lactose to enter the cell. The lactose that enters the cell is hydrolyzed to glucose and galactose by beta-galactosidase enzyme. Glucose and galactose are used as an energy source. The role of CAP protein in lac operon. CAP stands for catabolite activator protein. CAP binds CAMP, hence it is also known as CAMP receptor protein. When the glucose levels in the cell decreases, the level of cyclic AMP in the cell increases. The CAMP binds CAP protein and activates it. The CAMP-CAP complex then binds to the CAP site and interacts with the C-terminal domain of the alpha subunit of RNA polymerase enzyme. This increases the rate of transcription of lac genes.